So this is the very famous chemistry flame test that you probably have done or have done in my class or in other classes. And what we're going to do is take nothing more than uh, cotton swabs, can't say Q-tips, and we're going to take some methanol and dip them on the cotton swab. Okay, and then I'm going to take that methanol and dip it into my first test, which is potassium. And let's see if we get a nice color flame potassium. Light it up. And there is my potassium color. Don't know if I got quite enough. So let's do that one again. So I'm dipping some methanol on my cotton swab. And then I'm just taking that wet solution and dipping into some salts of some potassium. And there we get the color from the potassium. So there's the potassium. Okay, we have our strontium. Same thing, I'm going to just kind of, what I'm doing is taking something called a Q-tip or a uh, cotton swab, wetting it in methanol, dipping it into some strontium chloride, strontium ions, and here we go lighting it up, and there's my strontium. A little different color there. Show you up close and personal, there's my strontium. There's a little bit of blue on the back, and that's due to the, probably the methanol burning. There's my strontium. Okay. Okay, next up on the block is my sodium. Sodium. Again, I'm going to take some sodium plus, plus one ions from sodium chloride. Dip the cotton swab in some methanol. Get some sodium chloride on my cotton swab. I'm going to light it up. And wow, look at that nice yellowy color. That's indicative of the sodium lamps that you see in the parking lots, okay, or possibly illuminating streets, and that's a classic color of sodiums, electrons, leaping back toward the nucleus. Okay, now I have copper. Copper, same idea with copper. I'm going to take a cotton swab, put some alcohol on it, Okay, dip it into some, co into some copper ions, copper plus two ions, and here we go. Whoa, pretty cool. Well, that's my favorite. Nice, I believe, blue-green, but my eyes deceive me, being that I'm colorblind. So there's the nice, brilliant blue-green, classic color of the flame test of copper. Yellow is the, uh, I believe, the... Uh, Q-tip cotton swab burning, and that's the copper. And now we're going to move on to the next element, which I believe is calcium. Same thing, wetting that, dipping that into the ions, and there is my calcium. It's got a different color to it. Now to know how to discern, we would actually take diffracting lens or some way to look at the individual wavelengths of the photons of light being emitted, but that's your calcium. Okay, don't confuse that with the little yellow burning from the edge of the Q-tip there. All right, and then we're going to end up with a lithium. Same idea. Soak it in methanol and dip some lithium ions on here. Now these are ions of metals, but they can be used once the same. They're a little different from the atoms, but essentially transitions are very similar. And here's lithium. Okay, not a very brilliant, oops, there I am. Let me try this again. I don't think I got enough of the, um, the uh, methanol on here. Now I got more than enough. Here we go, some more lithium here. And there we go. And there's my lithium. Very pretty lithium. And that's the flame test for lithium. Now, as you guys know, I also have some unknowns here. I have two samples. My first sample is unknown number one. It's from the previous six, so see if you can identify which ones they are. Okay, so get some methanol on here and dip it into my unknown one sample and there's my first sample it's one of the previous six so 
Uh, whose is that? What, what chemical burns with that unique light? Okay, and then last but not least is sample two. And this will conclude the flame test once I get sample two dipped in here. And that'll be our flame tests. So here comes number two. And there's our unknown number two. Okay.